What up AJ and welcome to a Premier Lawns video. If you're watching this and looking at your lawn and asking why is my lawn dying in patches? There's an insect called leather jackets and it could be eating your lawn from below and today we're going to look at how to spot it and more importantly how to control it. A leather jacket is the larva stage of a crane fly or daddy long legs. A little bit of basic science. Blue bottles are maggots before they're flies. Butterflies are caterpillars and crane flies are leather jackets. We refer to the grubs as larvae and the job the larvae is eat, eat and more eat before turning into an adult who will mate, lay eggs and continue the life cycle. Leather jackets feast on the roots of the grass plants, which is why they're not particularly welcome by us lawn lovers. Now, this is an extreme case. You can actually see the grubs land on the surface of the concrete. New builds are very prone to leather jackets. I'm unsure of the reason behind this. If you know, leave me a comment down below. A good way to find out if you have leather jackets in your ground is just to dig a couple of holes. Now just to make you aware this lawn doesn't have any leather jackets, but I'm just gonna show you whereabouts you'd find them in the turf. Your lawn can support and sustain if you have leather jackets in your lawn. But whenever you have a high number of leather jackets in your lawn, that's when the problems arise. You'll generally find them in the thatch layer and just below the surface in and around the roots. That's where you would generally find them. They'll not be very deep in the soil because they feed on the roots. Another way to control leather jackets and also to test to see if they're there. Now, before you do this, you have to really soak the grass, properly soak it. The grass has to be drenched. Drenched. If you get some heavy black plastic like here, and if you cover the area that you've soaked and leave it overnight, what happens is the grubs come up the soil and whenever you remove that the next day, you can see them there. Now, some people will do this and not do the nematodes, but I think the nematodes is a worthwhile step. Doing this is only a half measure. The best way and the only way you can treat leather jackets in the UK is with these things, nematodes. As long as you follow the instructions on how to use them properly, and if you use them at the right time of the year, they generally work very well. I'm going to put an affiliated link down in the description where you can pick these up and use them yourself. Now, one of the most important things is knowing the size of your lawn. So I'm going to do a very basic measurement on how I measure my lawn. Now you could also use a tape measure or just pace it out. You can only bat and per 100 square meters. My lawn measures 150 square meters, so I have to buy enough for 200 square meters. I recommend that you get an applicator such as this. This is a Miracle Grow feeder. Now, I'm not being paid to promote or sponsor these products. So, this is the nematodes. Now, nematodes actually are a live product. They're grown in a lab and they have a best before date. Now, if you get them and you don't use them, it's important that you store them in the fridge. I know if I said to my missus about that, she'd be like, you're not putting them in my fridge, but there you go. All jokes aside, folks, I've some bad news for you in regards to leather jackets. Generally, if you have leather jackets this year, you're going to have them next year and the following year and the year after that. I always recommend that you treat for three years afterwards. Just use this by this 
applicator and then store it to the side and keep it for next year. Now let's get into the nematodes. Now the brown stuff you see, I believe is just a carrier. It's only clay. The nematodes themselves are microscopic and you actually can't see them with the naked eye. So it's important whenever you're scraping all this out in that you get everything. If you get a watering can and just make sure you scrape it all out and even scrape the lid off as well and make sure it's nice and clean, get it all in there so you're not missing out on any of the nematodes at all. And then to use it, it really couldn't be simpler. Make sure you put it to feed and water so as the nematodes is gonna go through it. You can either have it just the water and set the applicator to flat. The time it takes for the bowl to dispense most of the nematodes is approximately eight minutes under standard water pressure, though this may vary according to your own water pressure. And then just attach a normal standard hose onto the applicator and that's you, you're good to go. It's important to mark out clearly defined zones in your garden to make sure that you apply the nematodes at a proper rate. I used post, but you could equally just use plant pots. If you're enjoying this video, if you could give me a big thumbs up, like the video, subscribe for more content like this. I post regular tips and tricks on how to take your lawn to the next level. At the start of this video, I talked about the life cycle of leather jackets, and that is very important. There is only certain times of the year that nematodes work. The nematodes, when the leather jackets are active in the soil, which is typically mid-April through to mid-May, at double strength. early September through to the end of October at a regular dose. It's very important to keep water in the lawn for the next couple of weeks after you apply the nematodes. If you've enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below, smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.